will guide you through the installation and configuration of the GrillWatt 40 kW DC EV Charger. The GrillWatt Thor DC EV Charger offers seamless compatibility with all EV models using the CCS2 charging interface. Its intuitive 7 inch touchscreen allows for easy setup and real time monitoring of the charging process. With the Shine Phone app, you can manage and monitor the charger remotely. Designed with IP54 protection, it is perfect for both indoor and outdoor installations. Additionally, the load balancing feature automatically adjusts charging power to protect the main fuse or breaker. Let's overview the whole product. LED indicators Charging connector holder LCD screen RFID card swiping area Wi-Fi and 4G antenna Emergency stop button Mounting bracket Charging gun The EV charger can be installed either on a wall or on the floor using a mounting hole. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install it using the mount pole. First, unpack the mount pole package, inspect it for any damage, and ensure all accessories are included. Unpack the EV charger package and inspect the unit for any damage or missing parts. The mount pole must be installed on a hard, solid surface, with a concrete surface being recommended. Position the mount pole on the ground, then mark and drill holes at the designated positions on the base. Feed the power cable and meter communication cable through the bottom of the pole. Insert the expansion screw rubber sleeves into each hole and securely fasten them with expansion screws. Ensure that the installation is firm and stable. Use the T20 hex key from the accessory bag to loosen the mounting bracket on the EV charger. Position the mounting bracket on the mount pole and secure it using the M8 screws provided in the mount pole accessory bag. Finally, place the EV charger onto the mount pole. Use the key from the EV charger accessory bag to unlock and open the wiring box. Then remove the side cover to access the wiring area. Refer to the table to prepare the appropriate cable sizes. If needed, you can install an 80 amperes molded cage circuit breaker before the EV charger. Connect the AC cable to the terminal. You can connect the EV charger to a smart meter if you require PV language mode or load balancing functions. The RS485 ports for smart meter communication are located at the top right corner. If TPM CTE, SDM630 MCT is used. Connect the port 485B to the port 13 of meter. Connect the port 485A to the port 14. If TPME SDM630 is used, connect 485A port on the EV charger to the port A on the TPME and connect 485B on the EV charger to the port B on the TPME. If TPM CTC is used, connect port 485B to the port 25 of meter. Connect the port 485A to the port 24. Finally, put the cover back to the connection box and fasten it. For first-time users, 
click on the operation manual on the left to view the charging process. There are two ways to start charging. You can choose to use an RFID card by selecting Swipe Card to begin the charging process. Then choose the charging gun you want to use and swipe the RFID card to initiate charging. You can also use your phone to start charging. Click on Mobile Application, select the charging gun, and use your Shine phone to scan the QR code to initiate charging. You can set or view system parameters, network parameters, protection parameters, charging records, fault details, and charger information through the screen. On the system settings page, you can view basic information about the EV charger, reset the RFID pen code, change the activation authentication method, and set the meter address. On the next page of system parameters, you can enable the load balance function, set the maximum load current, and configure the load meter address. After making any setting, click Set to save your changes. Then please return to the system parameter page and click Reset. The EV charger will reboot and the new configuration will take effect. On the Network Parameters page, you can configure the server to which the EV charger is connected and set up Wi-Fi or 4G network settings. On the Protection Parameters page, you can view or set the charging parameters. On the Charging Records page, you can view the charging history, including start and end times, the total kilowatt hours charged, and the associated cost. Click Fault Details to view the current fault records as well as the history of past faults. On the Charging Information page, you can check the charger's maximum and minimum output voltage, maximum and minimum output current, detection voltage, temperature, and insulation resistance. Go to the Management page and click on Network Parameters. If using Wi-Fi, enter the Wi-Fi name and password on this page. If using Ethernet, configure the charger IP, subnet mask, and gateway according to your router's information. If using 4G, no additional settings are required. After completing the setup, Click Set at the bottom. Then go to the System Parameters page and click Reset. The new settings would take effect after the reboot. After rebooting, check the screen icons to verify if the configuration was successful.